So, uh, welcome to my garden shed. Um, this is my uh, first in a series of videos I'm going to do on arches and uh, how to build using scarf joints. And uh, today I'm going to do a simple demonstration of how to create a series of triangles out of a 10 foot stretch of board, which I use to create this um, shed. Now, the shed is uh, nine and a half feet across at the base. It's about nine and a half feet tall. I use 10 foot two by fours, which I ripped down and cut into s triangles to create this with uh, minimal uh, use of material. So as you can see, I have uh, two by four on the table here. Um, the first thing I did was to get, I needed to get the correct triangle shape I wanted. I needed to get the right width of board uh, for my jig and here's the uh, I ripped off a chunk of material I started cutting out my triangles um, using a jig that I'll show you uh, more about in the future and then um, here are my parts that I cut out now I'll briefly assemble them so you start to get the idea of how they go together So with this, you start to get the idea of uh, how they go together. The uh, basic triangles are assembled. Um, of course, when I did this for the arches here, I used uh, glue to put them together. And um, then stained them so that they'd be weather resistant and um, will talk more about this in uh, videos to come. I appreciate you spending time here with me today. Um, I hope this information is useful to you and uh, let you know I've been a builder of custom structures for over 50 years and now I'm learning how to become a YouTuber and so uh, as I'm learning how to do that um, I hope that you'll start to learn how to build arches using triangle scarf joints. Uh, the scarf joint, uh, I think next video, what I'm going to show you is how to build the jig um, that's used, that I used. This is a simple one uh, that I used to cut these. And it's, a, as you can see, it's a small thing, so it's easy to work with. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you like, uh, hit like and uh, record or like and um, something like and subscribe that's the word and anyway until next time uh, here's to your great well-being